boys and girls, how are you today? What does Miss Kathy have on her head? Can you see my heart? Do you know what holiday we are going to celebrate today? Can you tell? Can you tell I have a heart back there and I have some hearts over there and I have some hearts on my head? That's not where your hearts go. Your heart goes in here. We are going to celebrate Valentine's Day today. Do you like to have a Valentine's Day party at your school? Do you get Valentine's from your friends? That's lots of fun. And sometimes in the envelope, there'll be even a piece of candy or a heart or something to eat. Mmm, that's so good. Well, we're going to start our Valentine's Day fun with finding some things that you would see on Valentine's Day. Now, I have a whole box, a whole little box here filled with things that we would see on Valentine's Day. And it says, how many are there? So we're going to let, let Miss Kathy get her, get her marker. Blue. Blue. Get my blue marker. And let's see if we can find how many. Do you know what that is? That's an envelope. That's what your valentine goes in. How many envelopes do you see up here? Can you count them? You count and I'll wait. Did you find them all? Would you like me to help you? Okay, we'll cross them out as we count them, okay? We'll use our blue marker. One, two, you see another one? Oh, three, do you see more? Four, do you see any more? Look closely, you see one more? Five, and let's put let's put a number five in that box because we found we found five envelopes. Good job. Let's get a different color marker. Let's get hmm. Oh, do you remember what color that is? Orange. Orange. Oh, this is silly. What is that? That's a bow and arrow with a little heart on the end of the arrow. How many bows and arrows do you see? You think you got it? Shout it out for me. Okay, let's see if you're right, okay? Let's circle all of the bows and arrows that we see, okay? Let's see if Miss Kathy can find. Oh, I see one up in the corner here. There's one. Do you see more? You see more? Okay, okay, I'll look. Oh, two more. Where is it? Oh, you see any more? Three. One. Two, three bows and arrows with little hearts on them. Okay, let me get a different color. Let's get, green, green, get the point out. All right, now we're looking for Oh, this is tricky. You have to be very careful. We're looking for a heart with a little heart inside of it. A heart with a heart inside of it. Ooh, can you find them? How many are there? It has to look just like this heart. Not like this heart, like this one. How many do you see? Shout it out. Okay, keep that number. Let's see if you're right. Let's, let's draw a box around them, okay? We haven't done a box yet. All right. Oh, I see one. 
put a green box on it. One, two, are there more? You said there's more? Oh, three, do we have them all? We don't have to shout, I'll look. One, two, three. <gasps> Is that all? Good job. Do you know how to make a four? Let's make a four down here. Over, across, down. Four. Four. Okay, let's see. What color should I get next? Ooh, I think I'm going to get red, red. Good job. You remembered your sign. Oh, my favorite. What is that? A cupcake. How many cupcakes do you see? Look very carefully. It's a cupcake with a heart on the top and a little heart on the side. Let's put sprinkles on the cupcake. Do you like sprinkles? We'll put cherry sprinkles on it. Let's see how many. Oh. I only see one. Do you only see one cupcake? That's all I see too. Let's put some cherry sprinkles on our cupcake. How many cupcakes did we find? Just one. We'll have to share that cupcake. We'll have to share that cupcake. Now I think I'm going to keep my red marker because the next one I see is a heart. Let's see how many Hearts you can find. Now, not the hearts that had the little the little heart inside. Just plain hearts. How many do you see? Do you see two? One. Do you see the other one? Ah, way up on the top. Oh, nice red hearts, just like Miss Kathy has on her head. How many hearts did we find? Two. Good job. Oh, looky, we did one, two, three, four, and five. We did all five numbers. Wow, we did a really good job today. I wonder who this little boy is. I wonder who that is. Let's take our let's take our heart off and let's do a story about this little boy and his name is Johnny. Now since we're talking about Valentine's Day, we're going to be talking a lot about what do you think that's the sign for? Love. Just like you're hugging love because if you love somebody like to hug them. Love. We're going to see how Johnny shows love. And it's a very special way of showing love and we can all do it. For Valentine's Day, it would be a way for us to show that we love someone. And I told you his name is Johnny. And if you see, he has a little bag in his hand. And if I hold it close to you, can you see what's inside his bag? Oh, it looks like cookies. We did a story about cookies a few weeks ago. Let's see what it says. Uncle, so, so Johnny's uncle, uncle gave a bag of good cookies to Johnny. To whom? Not mother, not father, but, and there's Johnny's name, Johnny, how many, how many cookies did he get? Let's count them. Let's count them. One, two, three, 
four, five, six cookies. So Uncle gave Johnny a bag with one, two, three, four, whoops, dropped one of my cookies. Six, five, six cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six cookies. Just like he's, now see, you can see through his bag. So you can see his cookies. Let's see what he does. Do you think he's going to eat all those cookies? Oh no, it looks like he's giving one of his cookies away. Who do you think he's giving it to? Does that give you a clue? Have you ever seen someone carrying a bag like that? Oh, there's some envelopes in it. Remember like our envelopes we found? Maybe they're Valentine's. Who is that? Johnny gave one to the tired postman, the mailman. Who did? Not mother, not father, but what's his name? Johnny. So Johnny took one of his six cookies and he gave it to the postman, to the mailman. So six cookies, take away one cookie. How many cookies does Johnny have left? He only has one, two, three, four, five cookies. Do you think he's going to eat them all? I don't know. They're five really good looking cookies. Oh, look, look, he's going to give another cookie away. Look, he's giving a cookie away. Wonder who this little boy is. It looks like he has a bunch of papers in his bag. The other man had envelopes. This man, this little boy has paper in his newspapers. Johnny gave one cookie to the paper boy. Who did? Not mother, not father. You do the last part. But Johnny, oh, how kind. He is sharing and giving the little boy that's delivering the newspapers, he's giving him one of his cookies. So he had five cookies, and he's giving another one away. Now how many cookies does Johnny have? Well, he has four left. He better eat them all. He's running out of cookies. Oh, he's giving another cookie away. This looks like maybe someone he likes to play with. She looks like about the same age as Johnny. Johnny gave one to the girl next door. Oh, that's the little girl that lives next to his house. Do you have neighbors? Do you have some kids that live in your neighborhood? Well, it looks like Johnny's giving her one of his cookies. Who did? Not mother. Not father. Let's hear you read. But Johnny. He gave another cookie. I can't believe this boy. You would think he would have eaten all those cookies. So he had four cookies and he ate one. Uh, he gave one away to the little girl next door. He didn't eat any yet. Okay, so four. Take away one. How many cookies does Johnny have left? Only three. Do you think now he'll eat them all? Then there were only three. Three cookies left. Oh no, who's he giving one to? Who do you think that is? That's his mommy. Oh, mommy looks like she's working so hard, sweeping the floor, and she's got her apron on. She's probably making dinner. Oh, how kind of him to give her a cookie. Oh, three cookies. Take away one cookie. How many cookies does Johnny have left? Just two. Maybe he'll eat both of them. Oh. One for father, his daddy. He's given his daddy a cookie. Oh, how kind. Looks like daddy's just coming home from work. He has a newspaper in his hand. Maybe he got that from the paper boy. And he's just coming home from work. And how nice that must be to have a nice, good cookie when you get home. Two cookies. Take away one cookie. One for Johnny. He gave away all his cookies but one.
do you think he was sad that he gave away all his cookies but one maybe he's gonna cry do you think i don't know he doesn't look like he's crying he looks very happy to me and somebody said it's fun to give who said it was johnny now why do you think he was so happy to give away his cookies who do you think he made very very happy because he shared somebody pleased the dear lord jesus who did it was johnny do you know jesus loves when we share and that's a good way we can show someone that we love them if we share our toys with our brothers and our sisters if we share we share good things at school if we're sharing people then we show our love if johnny would have kept all those cookies to himself he might have enjoyed the cookies but I don't think he would have been as happy inside because he learned to share and to give. Do you know that Jesus loves us very much? And our new verse today is about loving him and trying to find ways that we can show him that we love him because he first loved us. Jesus loved us and died on the cross before we ever could love him. So let's learn our new verse. It's very short, so it's easy to learn. We love him because he first loved us. Now, this is a little different verse. This says John, just like this little boy's name was Johnny. John, but there's a one in front of it. We don't say one John. We say first John. First John for 19. We love him because he first loved us. First John 4 19. Isn't that an easy verse? And it's a good Valentine's verse because it's talking about love. Let's try it together. We love him, Jesus, because he first loved us we love him because he first loved us first john 4 19 we love him because he first loved us first john 419. Okay, we already know we love. That's a sign for love. And for him, we'll just point. We'll just point up to Jesus. Okay, we'll just point up. We. Hmm. What? What? What letter does that start with? What? We. We. Can you make a W with your fingers? I'll bet you can't. Can you make a W with your fingers? Down, up, down, up. A W. You don't want all four fingers. That's not a W. You don't want all five. You just want three. Can you do that? Let me see. Good job. Three fingers. We. We. Start at the side where you're holding up your fingers and go from your shoulder to your shoulder. We. We love him we love him we love him because he first loved us first john 4 19 we love him because he first loved us first john 
four, 19. Come on, we can do it. This is a short one. You can learn this one. Zippity doo dog. Okay, ready? We love him because he first loved us. First John four, 19. We love him because he first loved us. First John four nineteen. Now Johnny showed Jesus how much he loved him by sharing his cookies. And we're going to do a Bible story today about a woman who found a way to show Jesus how very much she loved him. Now, when Jesus walked on our earth, he didn't have a nice place to stay like you do, like a nice home and a bedroom and, and a nice kitchen. He sometimes had to sleep under the stars at night, or maybe he would stay at a friend's house. And some of his very favorite people to stay with lived in a town called Bethany. And they were two sisters and a brother, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And they loved when Jesus would come to town. Well, Jesus was visiting Bethany this particular day, and Martha, Mary, and Lazarus decided that they would have a nice dinner, a nice party for Jesus. Did you ever have a nice dinner, especially for you, maybe on your birthday? Maybe your mommy will make your favorite dinner. Well, they wanted to make it very, very special for Jesus. So they went to another friend of Jesus, whose name was Simon, and they were going to get the Simon's house all ready to have a dinner for Jesus when Jesus came. Now, Simon was a very, very good friend of Jesus also, because Simon used to be very, very sick. And Jesus healed him, made him all better. So Simon really appreciated Jesus and loved him for the good things that he had done. So they were going to have this just special for Jesus. And they probably made the best food they had and got the rooms all cleaned up. Well, when Jesus came to town, he went to Simon's house. And of course, Mary and Martha and Lazarus were all also there. And probably a lot of the uh, their other friends and Jesus helpers were there his disciples were there with them and they were just having a wonderful time and and Martha was just serving and and making food and making sure everyone had what they needed because that was how Martha showed how much she loved Jesus she wanted to serve him and she wanted to give him the very best dinner that she could and Lazarus sat and spoke with Jesus and just listen to him. And that's how Lazarus showed that he loved Jesus, by listening to everything that Jesus was teaching. Now, Mary wanted to find a way that she could show Jesus how much she loved him and how much she believed that he was God's son. So she went to her room, maybe her, her, her special hiding place, and she brought out a bottle. Now, when we think of a bottle, we think of a glass bottle like this. This is a very pretty kind of jar, isn't it? But in those days, it probably would have been made out of something more like this. And the Bible says it was a box. So it wasn't really a, a jar like we think of. It was a box. And it was a little box like they would make in Egypt. They were called alabaster boxes. And inside that box, Inside that very special container, she had something that oh, smelled very good. It was called spikenard. Now, you've never heard of spikenard, probably, but you have heard and seen roses. And to make spikenard, they would take the petals off the roses and they would crush them and smash them and all that sweet smelling juice would come out of those roses and they would put it in a bottle and kind of make like a perfume it smelled very beautiful and it was very expensive it cost a lot of money to buy that well 
Mary had a box and it had that sweet perfume inside of it. Now you couldn't smell it because it was all sealed up in there. They put it in the box and sealed it so you couldn't smell anything from the outside. Well, she took that perfume, piece it, and she broke it. And she let that sweet perfume pour all over Jesus' head and all over his feet. And do you see her very long hair? She has longer hair than Miss Kathy has. And she took her hair and she wiped that perfume off of his feet with her hair. She was worshiping Jesus. And when she broke that alabaster box, oh my goodness, that smell just filled the room. Oh, that's all you could smell. It was so beautiful. But do you know some people were angry? Judas, who was one of Jesus' friends, was angry. He said, why did you waste that? That was worth a lot of money. We could have sold that and we could have bought things for the poor and, and you just wasted all of that. And Jesus said, oh no, she didn't. She was showing her love for me because she knows I'm going to die on the cross very, very soon. And this was Mary's way of showing that she loved Jesus. And she knew that Jesus was going to die for her sins. And she wanted to put that sweet-smelling perfume all over him. And Jesus said something very special. He said, because she's done this thing, Miss Kathy doesn't have her Bible. But in my Bible, it says that Jesus said that everywhere the people read his word, they're going to read about what Mary did. How Mary showed her love for Jesus because she knew how much Jesus loved him, her. How can you show your love to Jesus? You could obey mommy. That would show Jesus how much you loved him. You could sit up nice and tall and listen in Sunday school class. That would show Jesus how much you loved him. You could pray for your missionaries. That would show Jesus how much you loved him. You could help around the house. You could help with your baby sister or brother, play with them so mommy can get some work done. That would show Jesus how much you loved him. I think on Valentine's Day, I think we should find a way to show Jesus how much we love him because he certainly loves us. And we're going to do a fun song now. And it has lots of numbers in it, so you can do the numbers if you don't know the song. I will sing it for you, and you can shout out the numbers, okay? I'll sing it once for you. One, two, three. Jesus loves me. You know these two numbers? One, two. Jesus loves you. Three, four. He loves you more. Than you've ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, it's truly divine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. There's no time to sing it again. Sure there is. Let's do it again, okay? One more time. Okay, you do the numbers real loud. And if you know the song, sing it with me. One, two, three. Jesus loves me. One, two. Jesus loves you. Three, four. He loves you more than you've ever been loved before. Five, six, seven. We're going to heaven. Eight, nine, it's truly divine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. There's no time to sing it again. One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more 
than you've ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, truly divine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. There's no time to sing it again. And there really isn't any time to sing it again. And I like that song. But I'm going to put my hearts back on so that we can do our Bible verse one more time. We love him because he first loved us. Remember? First John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. First John 4, 19. Try it with me. We, now make a W. We love him because he first loved us. First John 4, 19. I hope you have a very, very special Valentine's Day. Hope you get lots of Valentines and cards and envelopes. But I hope you take a minute to show the people around you how much you love them. Just like Johnny did by sharing his cookies with all the people around him. And I hope especially you will take time like Mary did in our Bible story and find a way to tell Jesus how much you love him. Have a good day, boys and girls. I love you, and thank you for joining me on this Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.